Pandemic unemployment assistance heats up as more hacks delay payments further. But when are states going to get on the ball? <laughs> this is a Sunday update from LL. I hope you're good and safe and healthy. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, hit that subscribe button and drop some comments below. And always bang that bell button on the front of this channel so you get alerts when a new video goes live about pandemic unemployment assistance. And we'll be answering all 32 of your great pandemic unemployment assistance questions from Saturday shortly. But here is the news. Um, and, and it is disconcerting, but several states have had security breaches, and LA has detailed them progressively over the last seven days, and it just seems to get worse. Um, the problem, basically, is that breaches are occurring, states are not forthcoming, they're not revealing the breaches until days, weeks, or months later, and we really don't know what's going on, but making it even worse is that the payments in those same states have not gone out. The states that have suffered breaches are delayed in their payments, and yet the representatives say, hey, we don't need to tell you about what happened with the breach. Well, you do need to tell us what's happening with the payments. So let's get to some of your questions right now, all 32 of them from PUA and um, unemployment assistance yesterday, and see if we can work through it. B.W. Irving, $600 a week extension approved. I believe it will. Uh, Gene Chrome, hey, Ellen, it was a pleasure to see you every day. Hope Mitch has a good retirement plan because he's going to need it. He's out for sure. She's referring to this channel's remit of Mitch McCarthy. Connell in BUA and unemployed and uh, second stimulus package yesterday. Let me read him again in a little bit right now. Mitch McConnell does not want to extend your PUA benefits. Oh boy, there goes the win. Uh, past the month of July, uh, the Democrats want it to go all the way to January if you're so impacted by COVID-19. He says, you know, you're going to be a welfare state. You're not going to work. You don't need the money. Um, and he's saying that while he's with his feet up in his million dollar mansion. Uh, Mitch, the I don't know what the economics is of the stim of the uh, of COVID nineteen now, seems to say so say he doesn't know what anything is, but certainly knows how to say no to you a lot. So that is Mitch's current position. Let's see what happens next. Samantha, thank thanks, my dearest Ellie. You answer all my questions. You spoil us. You take videos a lot of dedication. Your part can't tell you how much we appreciate. Well, thank you, Samantha. Watch our videos to the very end. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell, share your videos on YouTube, I mean on uh, Facebook and, and Twitter. It helps the algorithm. We had very bad algorithm results on Friday, my God. Um, that Saturday, the algorithm was good to us, and, and today so far it's been good to us. But boy, we, had, we took a very bad hit on Friday. Grandma Ducky, California, you are on spot. Uh, it's been pending since the 24th. Ooh. Samantha 109. My mother has 1099 and W2 for 2019. Greater amount, greater amount is 10 is a 1099. Will she be eligible for PUA if she has a 1099 and a W2? Um so I mean this has been one of the, the hardest questions that we've gotten since since April 28th. When you have a PUA, when you have an unemployment gig, when you have a self-employed gig and an employment gig, which one do you apply for? Do you apply for unemployment assistance? Do you apply for PUA? Um, and what I have said is the following. It's easiest in this analysis, and I don't know if this is the case with you, Samantha, if both of them were impacted by COVID-19, which usually they are. Uh, so then it doesn't really make a difference which one you're applying for. Um, you, you're not doing anything wrong because you do qualify for one or the other. But when you go to escalating benefits, if they both made over $30,000, it also doesn't make much of a difference because you're going to get escalated benefits to maximum benefits. It's just when one of them was a real winner in 2019 and made over 30000 and the other one was a dog and didn't make a penny, then you certainly want to be in the path of the one that made all the money in 2019 and go its path. So... If, if both entities made good money in 2019, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but if one of them made a lot and the other one just made nothing, you don't want to go through the process of the one that made nothing. Um, Jim Reyes, LA Epic in the house, keeping the bombshells coming. Keep, keep sell some sway, LA Late Hoodies. Oh, thank you. You want some, you want some, oh, sway or swag? I think he means swag. Uh, <laughs> Alex Me Melendrez, love your videos. Can you still get BUA and accept the SBA EIDL loan? Yes, of course. Cutie Pie, 
Thanks, I like. Well, thank you, Cutie Pie. Jeannie Farnsworth. It's so funny. It seems like Cutie Pie's comment is always before Jeannie's. It's like it's right there on the same page. Uh, hey, Ellen, I gotta say, first you rock for being so helpful and funny. Well, thank you. I have a question. Do you think the logical thing to do would be raise up your minimum wage to at least five dollars more an hour and then provide employees better tax cuts depending on the amount of people you bring home or and more cuts if you add employees that incentivizes employees to go back to work and hire employers to hire um so it's really sort of like a stimulus check uh second stimulus check video question but i love it um i think you need to do the following i think you need to uh, ensure that people have jobs to go back to. If they don't, that you give them some type of stimulus to, because you can't just leave them high and dry like Mitch Vicata wants to. Then if they go back to work and their work is not, you know, it, it, it's desecrated, it's 20% of capacity of what it was before the pandemic, you can't say, hey, I'm not going to help you either. You have to help them as well. A federal government can afford this. A federal government should do this. A cutie pie. Still no PUA in Kentucky. Oh my God, Kentucky. Uh, the, the core of, of the security breaches. Eight weeks tomorrow. Eight weeks and no money for PUA. This is just horrible. Delanda De Leon. Uh, McConnell stole the money. Well, goodness. I went to the show with someone by the same last name. A very unusual name, Gustavo Soto. Duplicate is if you could certify for your weeks online, then you send that they sent you a letter on the mail to certify weeks, and you fill that out as duplicate week certification to certify. Oh, so Gustavo Soto has a great comment, maybe responding to the question on our video yesterday. He says, "Don't certify for benefits in two places. So don't certify online and then turn around and certify by phone or certify by mail. Then they'll say it's duplicate certification. I never thought of that. So if you're watching this video and you're the person from yesterday and didn't understand." What duplicate certification is, that's what it means. Ariana, no PUA benefits this week. Florida. Oh, God, get rid of that governor. Mod G. Things have been flipped upside down where the government is in charge of the people and the Declaration of Independence. Very well said. Mark Sammons in Kentucky have received a dent. A cent. <laughs> Can't even get anyone on the phone. I mean, Mark, it's just horrible. And I feel for Kentucky. I mean, you and Cutie Pie are just being let out of, um, are just being tossed to the side. It's horrible. This thing about you no know, these centers, these call centers in these states not answering the phone. I mean, really, I, people need jobs. Hire people at these state agencies. Gina, love it. Well, thank you, Gina. Uh, curious are on. Wow, this is a long comment. Oh my God. Um, please hear me out before you decide to call me names and beat my chest. I don't know if I can read all this on air. Um, well, there's a lot here, um, but I appreciate your comment. Ooh, I'm not going to go through all that. Uh, Kevin Lee, hey, L08. Yeah, TWC twice denied me. TWC denied me for the wrong reason, saying I quit my job, which I have no idea where that came from when I applied, appealed the decision. I actually took on a temporary furlough. Um, still not sure how I'm going to get by in the next few weeks. I'm waiting for approval in June. Any advice? So... Um, this sounds like a situation where your agency, your unemployment agency, has gotten word from your employer something which they think contradicts your application. Uh, they denied me saying just because I quit my job, I was disqualified, which is totally false and incorrect, and I applied last Tuesday. Now I won't get benefits until mid-June. Yeah, I mean... Um, I don't know where they got the wrong information from. It's likely they got it from their employer, from your employer. If they didn't get it from anyone, then that's even more ridiculous. Um, I have, uh, you know, the only thing you can do is appeal. You can certainly sort of backdoor it and look around on the website and look for some director, which is often public information, a director's phone number, and get them on the phone or their assistants on the phone and say, hey, this is ridiculous. Why do I have to appeal? I have no money. You're not giving me anything and tell your story and maybe they'll they'll take a look at it. Um, that might be also a great idea. Uh, t but keep me updated, Kevin Lee. Terry Arden, the fraudulent employment accounts caused by the state of Maine to hold up disruption to 48 hours. Wow. Terry Arden again. Mine, Maine allows one to make $100 a week that will not accept the money paid from the state in PUA. 
Example, if you make $250 a week and your expenses are for rent for that week are $150, your income is actually $100 to claim. Interesting. Thrifty, cheapy thrift. Hey, uh, Bob Gabriel, Florida has a has had a breach. 10 weeks and not a dime. Florida. I mean, how many times am I going to put Florida in the title of the story? I'm probably going to do it again today. Florida, Kentucky. Florida and Kentucky. It's just horrible. I mean, we know we've been security breaches in Illinois and Ohio, but at least... Um, at least those may have settled down. And we know that that Texas was a hot mess and Hawaii too, but but Florida and Kentucky, Florida and Kentucky. If you have questions to today's POA video, which I'm sure you do, drop them in the comments below and we'll feature them in tomorrow's recording. And as always, stay at LA for more.